Good morning everyone. I am Sabapati from Department of Computer Application, Shift 2. Today we are going to discuss serializability in database management system. So before we are going to start the session, just wanted to know how it is going to be helpful in the real time. So serializability it means like when we are working with, when multiple transactions are being in executed by the operating system in a multi-programming environment, there are possibilities in that. So instruction of one transaction or interleave with some other transaction. So the entire transaction will be collapsed. So we need to achieve the serializability in order to execute all the transactions simultaneously on the same time. So how do we can do? So before that, I just want to ask you a question. What is transaction? So transaction, it means uh, is an action or set of action that are being performed by a single user or an application. So either it reads or update the information. So how do we can perform the transaction? So we need a transaction processing system to perform all the transactions. So how we can achieve serializability? It means like we need to follow an order. It means like we need to follow a schedule. So schedule it means what? A chronological execution sequence of a transaction is nothing but a schedule. So in a schedule, it can have many transactions in it. Each comprises of number of instructions or a task. So schedule, there are two types of schedule. So one is a serial schedule, another one is a serializable schedule. So serial schedule, it means what? If a schedule S is considered as a serial schedule, for every transaction T is going to be participated in the schedule, it means like all the operations of that transaction supposed to be executed consecutively in the schedule. Otherwise, that schedule is considered as non-serial schedule. So there are no concurrency in the serial schedule. And the other hand, we have serializable schedule. Serializable schedule are always considered to be correct because when concurrent transactions are being executed in a serializable schedule. So here we have an example for serial schedule. So serial schedule, as I have mentioned that we can perform number of transaction at the same time, but there is no interleaving allowed. So interleaving is not permitted. How do we can execute all the transaction in a serial schedule? So we need to perform one transaction after the completion of that transaction, the another transaction can able to start their execution. So this is how the serial transaction will be worked. The second one is the serializable schedule. So serializable it means like it can allow more than one transaction can be executed simultaneously. But the interleaving also been allowed. It means like if transaction one is being executed at the same time, at some point transaction two also been allowed to execute. At some point transaction three also being uh, allowed to execute. So when we are following the serializable schedule, there will be a conflict. How the conflict will happen in the sense, we are being allowed to execute more than one transaction at the same time and we are trying to achieve concurrency. Okay, with the help of, with interleaving as an option, we are also being permitted to have interleave. Interleaving is nothing but the instruction of one transaction may interact with other transactions. So when this kind of interaction is happening, there is a possibility to get some conflict. So we need to check whether this schedule is having a conflict serializable or not. So here there is an example, I'm gonna show it to you. So you can see an example, there are two transactions, okay, transaction one and transaction two. When we executing these two, two transactions at the same time, if both are doing performing the read operation, it will not affect. Then when the conflict will happen, it means one is performing the reading operations on the same data by the transaction one, the transaction two is writing on the same data. So there will be a conflict because the data will be updated while it performing the writing operations. When reading is performed by transaction, it will be a conflict. How do we can check there is a conflict or not? It means like here we have another examples also. You can see. So there are certain rules we need to follow before we are going to check whether there is a conflict serializable or non-conflict serializable. All the serializable transactions are supposed to be followed the serial schedule. So in order to achieve the concurrency. So in this example, you can see schedule 1, we will be having number of transaction, transactions are like transaction 1 and 2 and 3. So if transaction 1 is doing writing operations on the particular data, the transaction 2 will not be allowed to read on the same data and transaction 3 are also not allowed to do a same kind of operation but all the transaction can able to perform the same operation as reading operations on the shared data it will not affect any transactions but when we are going to perform so one is reading on the same data another transaction also writing on the same data there is a dependency so t1 is depends on transaction 2 
transaction 1 is depends on transaction 2. Likewise, if transaction 3 is also trying to read or write on the same data, which is already read or written by some other transaction, it means there is a dependency will be there. We can also demonstrate in a format of dependency diagram. So, if we need to construct so number of nodes based on the number of transactions. After we have constructed, we need to check there is a dependency in their operations. So, if there is a dependency, we need to draw a edge in between the number of nodes. So, based on that, we can say if there is a cycle in the dependency diagram, we can conclude it there is no conflict in the serializability. Otherwise, if there is no circle in the dependency diagram, we can conclude that there is a conflict in the pair of operations on your transaction. Thank you.